Welcome to the Fusion Cell Podcast, The Military Effect. I'm your host, Jack Heath. Fusion Cell, the founding mission was and still is to this day, the mission bridging the gap between military talent and the civilian workplace. Justin Hurtado is head of the construction and the engineering lane, if you will, within Fusion Cell. And Justin comes from the civilian sector, but has 20 plus years in the civilian side of trade, staffing and recruiting experience in this space. Justin, thanks for being with us as one of the featured cellmates, the military effect. I'm Jack Heath. Thanks for being with us, Justin. Hey, Jack. I, first off, thank you very much for having me on the podcast. It is a great honor to be here and speak with you today. Well, you have a, a really deep, good background on that side that Fusion Cell is trying to gap because we all know here and on my morning uh, news talk radio show that the military does a good job and it's not easy to recruit great candidates to join one of the branches to train to retain and the military very often likes to make that military experience a career for the individual but as you and I know Justin a lot of great talent and folks are leaving the military after their service at young ages in life with tremendous experience and that's where Fusion Cell helps bridge this gap because the military is not real good after that discharge period of really shepherding and showing that individual what their talent can bring to the civilian work site. So tell us a little bit about your background, Justin, before we talk about the journey that brought you to the Fusion Cell. Most definitely. My background started many years ago. As you said, I have been in the industry for over 20 years now doing construction and engineering staffing, either a contingent base or a direct hire base. I've wore many hats over the years from recruiter to branch manager, sales guy, national guy. And with that experience, it puts me in my seat here today as the director of the construction and engineering division. Good stuff. Now, what was it that you could probably go to work for any of these large construction, engineering, infrastructure companies here or worldwide? What what brought you to want to work and take on this mission in managing this land for Fusion Cell? I really do believe in the mission here at Fusion Cell. The company culture is bar none here. I had several rounds of interviews and I was looking for this tight knit of professionals to work with. And on top of that, just the satisfaction of being able to find veterans, uh, meaningful careers in the civilian sector is unmeasurable. Now, how does military talent or why does military talent, whether it was an Air Force officer managing a base, managing a facility, flying a plane, fixing a plane, a naval aviator or operator on a ship or a base, Army, Marines, Coast Guard. Why does, Justin, this military talent fit so well in some of these positions that you're looking to fill? Well, it all starts with their background, the training, the education, the hands-on experience they receive in the military is some of the best training in the world. These individuals are highly qualified in their particular career. The people that we put in, I'll just quote a few customers that I have, versus somebody who's coming directly out of college. They're telling me these veterans are running circles around these college students because they have that hands-on experience, real-life experience out in the field doing this. It's, it's just immeasurable to actually have that experience versus only book knowledge, which the military, they do have the book knowledge, they do have the education, they do have the certifications, but they also apply that hands-on in their career while well in the military. And, you know, I think, Justin, a lot of people in the civilian world don't appreciate when someone joins the military today or a few years ago or 10 years ago, they joined a team. And the term team sometimes is overused, but truly joined a team. They also joined a mission. They also, you know, had to show up to work. They cared about the team. They cared about the mission. They care about the country. And sometimes when you bring that to a private construction or engineering firm, to have that same employee or valued team member that cares about the company, cares about the community, cares about the teammate, those are assets or values that any employer 
would just love to have. And do you see that with a lot of these military recruits? Yes, uh, you've got it exactly right. Everything a veteran brings uh, to the table, these, these intangibles that you do not see usually from the civilian sector. Like I said, the loyalty, they want to start a career. They're motivated, they're team player, the mission critical, they're dependable. They want to know what their mission is. They want the clear path forward. They fit in really well with company structures that have that in place from day one. The experience and the work ethic that you get from a veteran is bar none. You're listening to Justin Hurtado. He manages the construction engineering lane for Fusion Cell. And these are private sector jobs looking for members from the military. Justin, you have 20 plus years in the field that you're now actually bringing great candidates to. Where is the construction industry headed? And what are their talent shortages? What are their demands? What are they looking for? The construction industry is booming. There is a huge lack of qualified individuals out there. According to Associated Builders and Contractors, in 2024, the construction industry needs to hire over a half billion additional workers into the industry on top of the pace of their regular hiring needs. In 2025, the industry is going to need 454,000 new additional workers to add into the construction industry. You know, every $1 billion in additional construction spending creates 3,550 new jobs. Wow. And a lot of these jobs can become great careers, correct, Justin? Oh, yes. They, they are excellent careers. They have a, a path forward. Let's say we'll go to the project management side. A uh, transitioning military member may come in as a project manager, move upward to an assistant project manager, up to a full project manager and a project executive. They come with full benefits, 401k, paid time off, health benefits, you name it, company vehicle, laptop, cell phone. The, the career path is very bright. There's a lot of upward mobility and fairly quickly when you see the, the supply and demand out there right now, uh, you can move up relatively quickly within these industries. Now imagine, Justin, a lot of the big construction engineering firms you're working with with Fusion Cell probably have their HR teams. They probably are able to fill certain positions, but I imagine you're able to find that diamond in the rough or those individuals that are really harder for them to find given your military access through Fusion Cell. Is that fair or not? No, that that is uh, very fair. Uh, they're struggling. Like I said, that shortage is real. That, that shortage is, is nationwide. Last year, they were averaging 445,000 job openings in the construction industry alone. And when you look at the military, they've got over 200,000 people exiting the military that are highly qualified. So we help, we call it the decoder ring here at Fusion Cell. We take the military background, education, and training and we put it into civilian terms so that civilian HR manager or recruiter can understand the military background, what right. their duties were, what they did day in and, and day out. It's almost like a different language and expertise. Real quickly, Justin, before we let you go, what about some recent success stories? I know you folks do a lot with, for example, and they're a big, big, gigantic firm in this space, Schneider Electric. What about some recent success stories? We have helped Schneider here for a few years now and have been highly successful. Most recently, we have placed an MEP technical coordinator. We have placed an MEP technical manager. We placed a site safety project manager, and we do have several other openings. As you know, the database realm right now is blowing up because of AI. We currently need four times the data centers than we currently have. So these successes with the backgrounds that they're not able to find in the civilian section, we're able to find these people with the qualifications, training, and education to come into these roles and get boots on the ground first day and be highly successful employees. They do start on a contract base and they roll them over. We've actually had four employees in the past month roll over to full-time status with them. Awesome. And again, Justin, working with the team, are you liking the mission? Are you liking what you're doing at Fusion Cell? I love it. You know, I jump out of bed. I have my mission that I fully believe in. 
I have great veteran teammates here, and we are a team here. It's one for all, all for one, and we are all focused on our mission, which is to help transitioning veterans find meaningful careers in the civilian section, and, and nothing is more gratifying um, th than helping those veterans that have served our country find gainful, meaningful careers when they exit the military. And uh, obviously construction engineering, a big, huge lane within Fusion Cell, within the private sector, the civilian sector, to fill with great, great military candidates. Justin, if someone wants to contact you, learn more, whether they're a company, HR person, executive, entrepreneur, or veteran, what's the best way? They could call my direct line, and that is 972-325-9175. They can also look me up on LinkedIn or contact me through our company website. And again, that's FusionCell.com, FusionCell.com. Justin, continued great work helping to bridge that gap between the military and the civilian side, especially in a huge lane with all the infrastructure stuff coming in the next several decades right here at home, construction and engineering. Thank you for being a cellmate, Justin. Until next time, I'm Jack Heath. We'll see you later.